Hey, this is Jim Bergman with Imperial Tools. I had a customer call me a couple hours ago and was asking why their three-ton system isn't doing three tons of cooling. And I thought I'd take this opportunity to explain to you a little bit more about the HRI database uh, and how equipment's rated and what the I-Manifold does um, as it's making its calculations. So just to start here, this is our shop system. It's actually running live in the back. And uh, you can see that the, uh, the system is stable. Uh, that's that green circle up there. So we got a stable temp split and stable liquid line temperature. And that the I-manifold is indicating the system's operating normally. So just to clear that out of the way there. Airflow is in the acceptable range, in the green range. Superheat and subcooling are in, within the targets. Our discharge line temperature is, uh, is normal. It's, uh, as long as it's not in the red, it's okay. And everything here looks like it's all right. Um, the only thing that's a little perplexing is you look at this and you say, well, it's a three-ton system. Why is it only doing 28, 2900 BTUs of cooling? So let's take a close look at this performance. So first of all, if we go into the system performance and we take a look, you'll notice a couple things right off the bat. First of all, I want you to notice this word right here. This is nominal 36,000 BTUs. So that's a nominal three-ton system and it's rated at 1200 CFM airflow. All right. Now, taking those two things into account, you can see, first of all, that we're only moving about 353 uh, standard CFM per ton. And standard CFM refers to what we call standard air. So it's designed to have 400 standard CFM per ton. And it looks like, at a glance, it's operating closer to 350. Our temperature split also is 23.8, and we're looking for a target of 21.5. So we're 2.3 degrees, 2.1 degrees away from that target. Um, Again, plus or minus three degrees on target temp split. So we're within range, but we're on the, on the low side of the airflow. You can also see down here that there's an adjusted target. Now, that adjusted target is actually because the equipment's rated at a nominal 36,000 BTUs at AHRI conditions. And obviously, uh, we're nowhere near that. If you just take a look uh, at the I-Manifold app again here, I'm just gonna slide till we look at the return air conditions. We said it, the equipment's rated at, at, at a return air temperature of 80 and 50% relative humidity. We're at 72.9 and a return air wet bulb of 55.6. And obviously uh, uh, the outdoor air at 69.6 .6 degrees is nowhere near the 95. So this equipment's gonna be operating and running a little bit differently than under the conditions it was rated at. So I'm gonna go back to performance for a minute and I'm gonna tap on this I button here. And you can see that uh, this, this section of wrap explains how those capacity adjustments are done. But basically, we're correcting for things like line set length, for voltage, for evaporator airflow conditions outside of uh, outdoor air conditions outside of 95, return air conditions, and making all the corrections required to, to give us a, a target for the actual conditions we're operating under. So you can see that our adjusted target is 29879. 29, and we're running about 99% of the adjusted target and things look, look okay. But let's see how that piece of equipment's actually running. And I think this is, this is where the rubber meets the road because um, there's some, some more things we need to take into account to determine if this system's actually operating properly. So I'm gonna go back here and uh, I took some photos of the unit. This is our, our shop unit. It's um, you know, a little beat up because we, we test it every single day in the shop, but it's still running pretty, pretty solid. And um, Notice here a couple of different things. First of all, let's start here with the uh, with the equipment model number. This is a PAD336, and then notice there's an L there. So PAD336L. So if you look at that, and then also I want you to catch this here. This is an AHRI certified piece of equipment. So there's things that we can pull in about this equipment that are, are critical to uh, assessing its performance. So let's go back here, and uh, I'm doing all this on an iPad, so you can get this, and because I think it's, real, again, really important you understand how this stuff works. So I just did a quick Google search for the AHRI directory of certified performance. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on the, uh, on the certified performance tab here and it's gonna pull up the, uh, the website, and then I wanna to go to the directory of certified performance, which is right here, and I'm just gonna open up that tab, and then you can see we're, we're inside the directory. Now at this point here, this is a, a air conditioner or air conditioning coil, so I'm gonna go ahead and select that, 
And then my outdoor unit model number, I'm going to tap that. And we had a PAD336. So that's about all we need to put in there for that. And then I'm going to hit the drop down box here and uh, select my brand. So in this case here, this is an international cover products commercial. So I'm going to scroll down here till I find ICP commercial. Select that. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a search. In order to do that, I need to put in the capture code, which is PGA7AU. And you only have to do that once, but the capture codes do change every time. And I'm going to hit search. And then I'm going to come up with three different uh, three different numbers. So down at the bottom here, you can see again that PAD336. Remember we had an L. So there's a certified reference number which I'm going to go ahead and grab right here. I'm just going to copy that number into my clipboard. And I want you to notice a couple things here. I'm going to scroll across this. It is rated at 1200 CFM airflow, and but notice that it's a 34,400 BTUs of capacity, not 36,000 BTUs. So uh, that there is going to change some things a little bit. So I'm going to go back into the application, and uh, we're going to make some changes here. So I'm just going to go in and I'm going to start a new project, just a standard verify, and I'll just make it new. Hit submit here, and then I'm going to just go into equipment information, HRI certificate number, and I'm just going to paste that number in here. Oops, we just got to paste it in. Let me try this again here. Command B. All right. So I got to take that little C out of there. There we go. All right. So I pasted the number in. Just, just fiddling with my keyboard there for a minute. Sorry about that. I'm going to do a search. And you'll see that um, this is an ICP commercial unit. You'll notice that it pulled in the model number. It pulled in the rated airflow. And it pulled in the rated capacity. So I'm going to go ahead and hit copy below. And that's going to copy that to the clipboard. And then I'm just going to go ahead and shrink this down here. And then pull up the system information. And you can see it put in that it's an ICP commercial, the nominal tonnage. We have to enter things that aren't in the HRI database like rated static pressure. But you can see it put in the rated airflow, the rated capacity. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, at this point just hit submit. So now if I go back to the performance data here, you'll notice a couple of key differences. Number one is the rated capacity. Now it changed from nominal to rated capacity. So the nominal was 36,000, but now we have an actual rated number of 34,400 BTUs. Our adjusted target then is going to be calculated off that 34,400 instead of the 3,600. So you can see we're running almost at 100% of our rated capacity right now. Now also notice that, again, um, our temperature split is still about that 2.3 degrees off and we're at the 419 CFM per ton. So still, things are looking interesting here. It's looking a little bit better, but let's let's take this one step further. So I'm going to go back here just for a minute again. And take a look before I go back here. Look at your airflows here. We're at 1065 or 1118 ACFM. So let's go back and let's take a look at, um, at the actual performance of this equipment. So if you look here, before we go to that chart, you can see that uh, this low terminal is my fan terminal, and I have the red wire on there, which indicates the fan speed. Normally you'd think this might be a low speed, but if you look at the manufacturer's directions here, that PAD336, uh, the medium one is actually the red. And if you look here on the on the airflow between 0.4 and 0.5, we're somewhere between 1158 and 1102 uh, CFM. Now at the bottom of this, you'll notice, you see how there's, some of these are gray and some of them are white. At the bottom of this, you'll notice that shaded areas, all the way at the very bottom of the page there, shaded areas indicate airflows that are not recommended for dehumidification control. So while this is rated at 1200 SCFM, that 1200 standard CFM per ton is to get its AHRI rating. That's probably not going to leave the, the people comfortable. So the actual rating, we probably, if we're at about half an inch of static, would be somewhere around 1102. So I'm going to go ahead and use that for a rated number. Uh, so I'm going to go back into the application for just a second. 
and go back to iManifold and go back to our, oops, not system performance, but our project and go back into equipment information, go back in the system and I'm going to change this to 1102. Hit submit and now we'll go back and we'll take a look at that performance again. So now when you look at the performance, you can see a couple different things changed here. Number one is this, I want you to see this. Our target temperature split now, instead of being at 400 CFM per ton, is at 384 CFM per ton. Because what it did is it took that 1102, divided by our tonnage, and it ends up that it's looking for now 384 CFM per ton to get the target uh, at 1102 ACFM. So our deviation from target is 0.4 degrees. Notice also over here, we're running around 1072 CFM. So we're really, really close to our rated CFM. And again, we're at that half inch total external static pressure. And you can see our rated air flows 1102. So it recalculated all those things for us. So now we're looking uh, really, really close at 99.6 to 100% of our adjusted nominal target. Airflow looks good. Everything looks exactly the way we want it. So now if I go back to the I manifold and uh, you know, I store that information in the cloud. Anybody that comes out in the future will have the ability to pull that data back down. But you can see we didn't change anything in that entire configuration except actually pulling in data from the AHRI directory. And that is so critical to understanding uh, equipment performance. So if you, if, you, if you do things correctly, you get the equipment set up correctly, you put in this extra data that you pull from the cloud. I mean, we just searched over a million records to pull that down it will really nail your numbers every time. So hopefully you got a little bit out of this video and you understand a little bit more how valuable cloud is and, uh, and how the iManifold makes your job easier and um, you know really nails that equipment performance. This is Jim Bergman for Imperial Tools. Thanks a lot for watching.